Welcome to Open Legacy Hub. This video will show you how to use the Hub to generate digital services from your legacy assets. The Hub's graphical interface is designed to lead you through the process of connecting to your assets and uploading them to the Hub. From here, you can use these assets to generate contracts within projects and deploy these projects as microservices on any platform. We begin by creating a module using an existing solution from the Hub Solutions Center. In this example, I'll use an Oracle database solution that has some predefined functionality to extract information from the Oracle database tables. This functionality is in the form of methods that are assets in our module. Moving to the Project tab, I create a new project and call it Account Oracle Microservice. After the project has been created, I must associate the module to it. I can then create a contract. Using the Hub, I can create a contract automatically or manually for my existing assets, or even create it based on a predefined contract that I can later edit and configure. Here, I use the Auto Generate option to create a contract for each method or legacy asset. Get Account, for example. The interface displays the mapping between the input and output fields, the account ID as input, and the complete account details as output. I will make some changes in the output mapping and we will later see how the Hub integrates these changes. In this example, I am disconnecting fields in the contract as I don't need all this information making the contract long and complicated. I can now generate the service. The Hub provides multiple generators. C-Sharp REST, AW Lambda, and more. I can also generate a full code service for maximum configurability and flexibility, or a low code Spring Java REST service that can be deployed anywhere. I select the generator and click the Generate button, and my microservice is ready to be downloaded or deployed. Here you can see the file structure of the microservice artifact. For testing, I run the get account microservice that I previously defined, and I input an account ID. Clicking Execute runs the service against the Oracle database, and it returns the account details, but the short version that we changed in the field mapping, just the account identifiers and the account balance. We see that contracts can be tailored to specific user types, allowing reusability, accuracy, and efficiency in generating services. Thank you.